How's it going everybody? It's uh, Vash here with another video blog and today I will be showing you a couple of brand new printers actually. <laughs> um, as you can see here if you look you can see that but if you look up I recently purchased the Inacubic i3 Mega. Um, right now I'm actually printing out a spool holder that goes for it that someone designed. I found it on Thingiverse. Um, just because I'm um, using the spooler it came with and I don't really like that but I know it's the one that they provide with it so it's doing its job till this one is finished and I print out the roll and I'll be having that going but I'm putting the printer through its paces and doing testing and everything and obviously doing what a lot of people do with printers and printing upgrades that go for it uh, but I have to say uh, the from the moment I opened this box from the start of assembling it, it took maybe 20 minutes to assemble this printer. And I mean, I have to say, this is like one of the best printers uh, that I've set up ever. And I've set up multiple printers, especially in the past like six months. Man, this one was so easy. Uh, I have to give it to any cubic, man. They made this process really simple. I didn't really have to do anything. Um, really, it comes in two parts. Um, if anybody out there has this one, um, they'll know it just basically comes in two parts. You have the gantry and then you have the base and essentially it's just four screws on that side, four screws on that side, plug everything, plug the three uh, connection ports um, on the side and then power it on. That is it. And I mean, I only had to do a little bit to level the bed uh, with the nozzle. Uh, but it was like about 20 minutes, 30 at the most. I mean, just kind of, you know, getting the filament in and just getting it all set up. But I mean, just kind of give you guys an idea. This is just, it's a really awesome i3 printer. I mean, just overall really great quality. Um, and I don't know if you guys can see it, but just like right there. I know it's kind of hard because like everything's black and my desktop <laughs> um, is black. But there's a filament sensor right there. That it comes with and that actually plugs into the base as well so you kind of uh, so when the filament runs out not that I've ever had that happen before but you know I'm assuming if it ever runs out this will stop it's actually something I'm gonna test later on like some other test prints but um, but yeah I mean this is a great printer I would definitely have to say if you guys are looking for a great starter printer but you don't want like the full kit kind of like you know the the a net something a bit easier and something that's not really expensive this is an absolutely great printer to go with I honestly can recommend it um, just super easy the interface on it's really easy to go through actually I'll just kind of pop through real quick I'll probably do like a review of this I know there's a ton of reviews out there and I know probably people would be like there's already a ton of reviews, but I'll probably just kind of say, hey, this is my experience. It's nothing too intensive, but just something simple. But right now, as you can see, this is just kind of letting you know the print process, but uh, touchscreen's totally intuitive. I mean, it's, it's just, I mean, man, it, this is just overall just a really great printer. And go back over here, but super easy to use. I kind of wish that I had the one that had the Iron Man symbol, but I know they probably had to get rid of it because of licensing and stuff like that, but uh, really great printer. Um, so that's that. Uh, right now I have my ANET. Um, I kind of have to adjust a few things. I'm actually, I bought some uh, uh, replacement heat blocks and nozzles because I'm going to replace the one that's on there. I mean, I put this thing through its paces the past like few months. Um, and it just needs to be replaced and then I'm gonna replace a heating rod which does take a little bit of time but it's fairly simple um, but I'm gonna do that just so I can have them both running and I don't know if you can see here in the corner I bought some ingus bearings <laughs> uh, they make just the the rods going or making the the z-axis going across just a lot smoother uh, just I can't wait to install these. I had it on my previous printer and they were great and I'm going to do it again for this one because I just want to get smoother prints. You get less of that little, you know, that waviness and prints that you might have. But uh, 
then I'll have both of those running and then hopefully to have this up and running I finally found a configuration file designed for the GTEC the GT2560 uh, so I'm gonna put that on there hopefully this uh, actually following week because I'm going to convention but um, and then I'll have all three printers going but then just to kind of show you guys I did say I had four printers and the next one is this guy here this is the Anycubic Photon I just got this today another printer that seems very simple to set up oh man <laughs> now if you guys aren't familiar with this this is a resin printer now there are a couple types of those there is the uh, DLP I believe and then there's the uh, laser version so this one actually uses the LCD screen which is the sky down here um, and then this is essentially the print bed but it's upside down because it basically cures each level and it raises up and cures the next level and so on and so on and so forth until you get really fine super fine detailed prints um, the great thing about this is some of the previous versions of these printers have costed in the thousands and this one here this is 500 bucks this is a 500 hundred dollar printer and I was lucky enough to get it from AliExpress and they had a in America so I didn't have to pay the international shipping which was awesome because it was hundred and forty dollars if I wanted to get it and not wait um, so but yeah, that's what I have going. Right now, I actually need to go back and level it because I actually just unpacked it and it was stuck to the the vat here. And I finally got it unstuck. Um, and now I'm just going to level this guy, but I am super excited. The only thing that's kind of frustrating is that it only comes with this much resin. This is all it comes with. And I believe um, this is not a lot. <laughs> so I actually did order some more, which I'm actually expecting this week. Uh, a couple of, actually, I think I ordered three bottles of 500 milliliters. Uh, this one here is green. Um, I ordered black and yellow. Unfortunately, they don't have blue, and but I'm going to actually look for blue resin. Um, even on their website and even in their introduction video to the Photon, they say that you can use other resins with this. So um, it's very versatile. Um, some of the other SLA printers uh, recommend that you use their resin with their printers. Uh, this one, they said, hey, um, as long as it's, it's within certain requirements, you'll be able to use it. It's not a problem. So... But those are the printers I've printed. Oh, and just to kind of show you guys the quality of the Indicubic i3, if you haven't seen any, um, this is one of the test prints that comes on it. Now, let me see if I can just get this into focus for you guys. Oh, my phone just never focuses on anything. It always focuses on everything else. I mean, this is just really nice and smooth. Wow. My phone will not focus. This is, it just like focuses on everything else. Uh, that's okay. It would focus on it and then it didn't. Uh, okay, there we go. This back of the owl is just fantastic. It shows you how smooth the printer is. I'm trying to dial in the settings because this is just a test file and they don't really give you the settings. <laughs> so I'm trying to um, iron that out. But uh that's one of the prints that came off of it and then right now just kind of give you guys i haven't printed too much just because i've been super busy with you know switching jobs and <laughs> getting new printers and taking finals in school uh this guy right here is an xbox controller stand one of the things i'm really happy about because it came out really awesome this is printed in two pieces this is basically the base and then you have these four white pieces that you have printed separately. Now I'm going to print more of these in different colors, but man, this is just an awesome controller stand. 
Um, works with my PC, so I just have a controller in my room, but it just sits like that. And it's just so simple. And the print only took like, I believe it was like two and a half hours. It's just, and I printed this at 0.3 layer height, just cause this doesn't have to be super detailed. It's just functional, so that's what I printed at. Um, but yeah, just super awesome. Gonna print more colors. I have blue and black, and I believe I have gonna, well, I'm debating on either yellow or something else, but essentially that's what I have going on right now. Um, haven't loaded a vlog in a while, but I wanted to do something real quick just to show you guys what I have, and I am going to be printing much more now that I have another printer, another printer, other printer. Oh, and actually down here, I purchased some more filament from another brand that I have never tried before, Amaze 3D. Um, uh, Fugitech 3D printing he did a review on some of these and he really liked them so I was like you know what? hey I'll do it too they had lavender I don't know what I'll print with lavender but I'll figure out something maybe something for my mom she likes some of the prints I've been making so and she's been asking me to send her more stuff so uh, with the photon and and uh, the new i3 mega I'll probably print her some more stuff that she'll probably like jewelry or whatnot so I have that, but I did see this on there. This was more expensive. Man, was this more expensive. But this is uh, gold filament. And I haven't had any gold filament ever, so I've been actually really dying to get some gold filament because there's a bunch of things I want to print with gold or in gold. Um, so that was really awesome. Although the lavender here was, I believe it was $21 at the time of this recording. This was 27 so this is around the same price as Hatchbox, which I usually use. Um, but I'm actually really interested to try some more and different filaments. So, Amaze 3D, uh, hopefully your guys' filament works out for me. Um, and actually I have a third box here, I accidentally purchased this. Now I normally don't print in ABS, I've only ever printed in PLA and a couple times in PETG and those have come out really great. but. I accidentally bought the ABS instead of the PLA, but um, we'll see. I know a lot of people print functional things and sturdy things with ABS, but I also know that ABS stinks to holy hell <laughs> um, and people hate the smell. So, but I would really like to try and print something that's structurally um, good with this. So we'll see. Uh, an accidental purchase because I meant to get PLA but hopefully something good will come from this but that's pretty much I got going guys and this is still going oh man I can't wait till this is done um, but like I said haven't done a video in quite a while but you'll start seeing some more seeing as I have more printers and I'm gonna have a bit more time so I hope you guys like this if you guys aren't subscribed please subscribe um, if you like the video, hit the thumbs up. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down, but leave a comment regardless. I'll be uh, doing more stuff coming up soon. Uh, hopefully, <laughs> get some nice fine prints out of here. But, I'm going to end it here. Remember guys, keep playing games and keep making things. I'll see you guys in the next